Hi there, my name is Beth, and today is Top 5 Wednesday. Uh, this is going to be the first Top 5 Wednesday I'm doing, which is super exciting. And this Top 5 Wednesday, June 3rd, falls on my birthday, so it was meant to be. Um, so yeah, today's Top 5 Wednesday topic is the our Top 5 favorite books we've read so far this year. Uh, something along those lines. But yeah, this one actually seemed really easy to me at first, and then I started scrolling through my list on Goodreads of books that I've read so far, and there were definitely four that stood out that I definitely thought, well, yeah, that's definitely one of my favorites so far. Um, and then the fifth one, which is actually on number five, because it was more or less just a, I've rated this book five stars and I really enjoyed it, but I don't know if it's a favorite, but it fits the spot type of thing. Um, so yeah, so coming in at number five is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. This book follows a main character, Laura Jean, who uh, writes notes to all the boys she's ever loved or had a crush on, and um, one day they get sent out and she has to deal with all the backlash of that. It was so good, it's such a cute book, and the sequel just came out, so I'm really hoping to read that one really soon. But this one is coming in at number five. Uh, coming in at number four is one I, number four, is one I just read this month in May, last month in May I guess, <laughs> um, and that is Thirteen Reasons Why by Jay Asher. This book I listened to as an audiobook, and I highly recommend doing that because it's such a good concept. Um, as an audiobook rather than reading the physical book. Such a good physical book as well. But um, it tells the story of a girl who recently committed suicide and she has sent out 13 uh, cassette tapes to different people who were part of the reason why she committed suicide. So we follow Clay, our main character, who gets this box of cassette tapes and he has to listen to why he is part of the reason that Hannah committed suicide. It was such a good story. It does deal with some harsh or hard issues like suicide and sexual abuse and depression, but it was really good and I did really enjoy it and that's why this is coming in at number four. Number three on my list is one that I just this was one of the first books I read this year, and that is The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. This is a book that deals with fairies and uh, a world where humans and fairies are basically intermingled, except they do stay away from each other at the same time. This was such a good story. I read The Coldest Grown Cold Town by Holly Black last year, which deals with vampires, and I loved that. And this one was just as amazing. So yeah, that's why this one is coming in at number three. Number two on my list is The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. This book I loved so much. This is probably one of the first fantasy books I read. Uh, definitely one of the first fantasy books I read this year. And it was just so fast paced and so enjoyable. And yes, highly recommend this one as well. So that's why this one is in at number two. And my number one book pick for this uh, Top 5 Wednesday is Magonia by Maria Devona Headley, or Headley. And this book I recently read, I read in May, and quickly has become one of my favorites this year so far. This follows a girl who can't breathe on Earth, and one day when she sees a ship flying through the sky and hearing it call her name, everyone thinks she's crazy or having an episode. And yet, somehow, throughout this book, she ends up on the ship and is able to breathe. So, um, that's all I will say, but I will say this book is similar to, like, Peter Pan and Treasure Island meets the Faulkner Stars. So yeah, this one was so good, and that's definitely why it is my number one pick for my top five books, uh, favorite books so far this year. But yes, so in the comments below, let me know what your top five are, 
or even what your favorite book you've read so far this year is if you don't have a top five. And until next time, I will see you very soon. Bye!